Hello, in this video you will learn how to create your first Linux shell script for network automation. This is Eric KT and today I will show you how to create a script to get a backup of a Cisco routers config. Let's go into our Linux terminal. I'll use Puri to log into my Linux server and now that I am in, I will be creating a file named backup.sh and this is the actual script. The first thing our script must have is the next line, number sign plus exclamation mark and the path of the bash, like this. Then I will create the variables that we are going to use. I have them already in a text file, just let me copy them and paste it in here. So these are all the variables I am going to use, the IP address of the router, the username and password as well as the enable password. I will also copy and paste the script and don't think I took it from somewhere else. I made it but to make this video faster I just copy and paste it in from a text file that I wrote before recording. So let me explain to you what this is all about. Everything inside the parentheses is going to be run in the telnet session. This script will ask uh, the IP address as well as the username and password so it is not stored in the file due to security risks. And what I'm doing here is making the script call each variable when needed. Also, the reason you see the word sleep is to wait before the script moves on to the next command so the router has time to read and run the command and display the output. We, we will get the running config and show version of our router, as you can see, but you can get all the commands that you want, just keep adding them like I did. So let's, let's save and exit the script, and I am going to run this script twice. The first time is for you to see how it works while it's running, and the second time is to send the output to a file. Let's run it by running the command bashed followed by the name of the script, like this, and then press enter. Let's write the IP address, username and password so it can log into the router. You can see how it starts the talent session and it starts running the commands. It's cool, isn't it? Now that it finishes, let's uh, run again the command, but before, let's uh, go back to edit the file and Add the next line. Let's add greater than plus the name of the file we want the output to be stored in, like this. Now let's save and exit the, the file again and run the script. Once again, enter the IP address, username, and passwords. And now we are not going to see anything until the script finishes. And when it does, we will see a line that says connection closed and it means our script has finished. Let's look for the file it created. As we can see, it's there, the, the file called backup.txt. Let's view its content by running the command cat backup.txt pipe less so we can scroll down. As you can see, there it is, all the output generated by the script is in here. It's awesome how simple it is to write a script that will automate our daily tasks and save us some time. If you want more of these videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and leave a comment down below for any suggestions or video requests. Thanks for watching and see you next time.